Hi. Today I'm going to discuss the OS to BMC technology feature that will soon be available in Intel Ethernet Server LOM designs. Let's start off with a high level overview of how Intel Ethernet Server LOMs, that's LAN on motherboards, handles the filtering of incoming Ethernet traffic to determine if the packet should go to the BMC, the host, or both. We have these configurable filters that the BMC configures, and when a packet comes in, it's examined against these filters. If it matches one of the filters, it's sent to the BMC. If it's not matching, then it's sent to the host. Additionally, there are some packets that can go to both places. So in this case, the BMC would configure ARP requests to go to both locations, both the host and the BMC. Currently, there are no type of filtering done on packets when they are transmitted from either the host or the BMC on an Intel Ethernet server LOM. This means that when packets are transmitted, they're just transmitted and any offloads we have from the NIC, of course, and the, the controller are used, but we don't actually look at the traffic to determine if it's any kind of special IPMI or you know, host-based traffic. They're just transmitted out the wire. And consider for a moment a server management application. The example I'm going to use is one that wants to speak IPMI over LAN to do management of, of servers in the data center. A, a management application can, can read and write Ethernet packets um, with IPMI payloads in them, and they're transmitted over the Ethernet to remote uh, BMCs and those BMCs can be connected using Intel Ethernet server LOMs for their uh, management traffic, just like this example here. Um, however, if the, the host wants to communicate to the local BMC, there is no direct path today for the host to actually communicate with the BMC. So what would have to happen is, is that the, this IPMI Ethernet packet would have to be transmitted uh, from the host out the LOM and onto the physical wire, and then the switch would have to turn that packet right back around and send it over the same exact um, uplink, right back to the, the lawn that transmitted it, and then our filtering would look at the packet and it would send it to the BMC. This is a way that the host could communicate with the local BMC. However, this doesn't work because it breaks the rules, if you will, of a switch. A switch is not supposed to send traffic back on the same uplink that a packet was received on, so this, this doesn't work. So what is normally done in a management application that you want to manage, that an application wants to control or communicate with the, the local BMC, is that an application is written using instead of the Ethernet interface it uses the KCS interface which stands for a keyboard controller style interface it's a simple port IO uh, mechanism uh, the IPMI specification talks about it and what it does is it sends one byte at a time so now we have the this management application has to to write a different interface, if you will, um, a library to speak over the KCS interface to the BMC instead of Ethernet. So now a management software must speak two different protocols, if you will. If you want one application to manage everything in the data center, including the server that the management application is running on, it must communicate to all the other servers in the data center using Ethernet and doing IPMI or whatever protocol you like over Ethernet. And it must also have this local interface using the KCS, which is completely different, does not have an Ethernet stack on it. So this tends to have a significant overhead. You have to basically write almost two versions of your program and validation, and just it really increases the, uh, the scope of your management application. So enter OS to BMC. OS, the OS to BMC technology available in the upcoming Intel Ethernet server LOMs provides an Ethernet based communication path between the host and the local BMC. Essentially, we now have a mechanism to examine packets that are being transmitted from either the host or the BMC. We have additional filters now that's going to examine that traffic and it's going to say, is this traffic supposed to go transmitted out the physical? cable to the ether or to the internet 
or the network, or is it supposed to be transmitted to the BMC and vice versa? When the BMC wants to transmit or send a response, uh, that packet is examined based upon these filters again and is sent to the host. So from a high level view, this is what OS to BMC does is it presents now this communication path between your host and your BMC, allowing you to have one management application that, that speaks, if you will, only Ethernet. So in this case, IPMI over LAN is what's going to be used. This feature is only available if you're going to be using the NCSI sideband interface on the Intel Ethernet server LOMs. NCSI is a DMTF standard called in, uh, Network Controller Sideband Interface. With, and we, we have extensions to that interface, uh, that specification in our, in our LOMs. So this technology is only available if the BMC is using the NCSI interface as opposed to the SM bus interface. So now we have this new filtering. So utilizing the new OS to BMC technology in forthcoming Intel Ethernet controller LOMs, a server management software vendor can now focus on um, a product that utilizes only the Ethernet management interface, such as IPMI over LAN, as opposed to having to also consider the local KCS interface in order to communicate with the local BMC. This can significantly reduce the complexity of a management application because you only have to write your program to speak Ethernet frames, if you will, network communication, rather than having to write your code to do both Ethernet and KCS and increasing your validation costs of having to validate both interfaces. So, the Intel OS to BMC technology that's going to be available in forthcoming Intel Ethernet server LOMs will affect the BMC because your BMC now has to configure some additional filter saying this is the kind of traffic or this is the my MAC address and IP address that I want to expose to the host and when the BMC transmits data to the host it goes to the host and not out the physical wire and then when your host wants to transmit data to the BMC it has to have these filters in there saying that this is the destination if the destination MAC address from the host matches that of the BMC then transmit it over to the BMC also what's going to change is we have to have some additional um, gates in our controllers so the Intel Ethernet server LOMs are now going to have this additional capability for these new filters and lastly, the driver will have to be changed a bit to accommodate this new feature. Um, one example is, is the driver has to make sure that the host doesn't try to transmit jumbo frames to the BMC because the NCSI specification does not allow for jumbo frames. So that's not allowed. So the driver has to make sure that that, that kind of situation doesn't occur. Thank you for viewing this OS to BMC overview. Um, I work in the Platform Application Engineering Division in Intel LAN Access Division. So in, to recap, there's this new feature coming in the Intel Ethernet Server LOMs, and that is the OS to BMC. This allows your host OS to communicate with the BMC over Ethernet rather than through the KCS interface. This will reduce the cost of developing your management software because now only one interface has to be used, and that would be Ethernet, which is much quicker and much easier. Thank you for viewing this, and have a great day.